Hi guys, I'm just going to do a quick update on these pups I've got here. They're a little star cross break. Um, I've not been able to do proper Whippet Diaries because since YouTube's changed over to this Google Plus thing, it's stopped me uploading a lot of videos and messed about with it completely. I can't seem to upload anything more than three minutes long. So I'm going to do a quick update on the pups. They're three weeks old now and they're uh, doing really well. There's blue and white dog pup on the right here that's getting more. That's John from Liverpool's with little boy Jack. If they were watching this and watching how it's growing the white and black one you can see now in the centre of the screen that's your pup Chris um, I hope you're going to enjoy this when it manages to get over to Lincolnshire and as you can see they're feeding really well and they're just growing now uh, all they're doing is feeding and sleeping at this age this little black and white one now that's doing all the chewing on this other pup that's uh, John in Kent's pup she's a fiery little bitch this one she's always chewing on the other dogs it's got real character this and uh, I'm really really sure this pup's going to turn into a cracker uh, but my favourite as you know I always have a favourite pup is the blue and white dog you can see here with the big white stripe down the middle he's absolutely stunning looking and his neck is so broad he's so strong this pup already at three weeks it's unbelievable um, on the left of the screen here the blue and white bitch puppy see feeding that's actually my own pup that I'm keeping back and the other two that are suckling now in the centre of the screen, they're actually still yet to be reserved. It's a blue and white dog and a black and white bitch. Um, as you can see, they're under the heat lamp because we're down to temperatures now that are zero or below in Derbyshire where I am. We've had a bit of sleet today and the weather's getting absolutely freezing and the dogs are out in the uh, whelping pen. So keeping them under the heat lamps, keeping them at a lovely temperature and letting them sleep easy and feed well. So let's go and have a look at the uh, heat lamp set up and I'll give you a quick tip on heat lamp while I'm at it. As you can see here, this heat lamp's not set up with a normal chain like they usually are. I found in the past that the bitch can knock the lamp and it bursts the bulb and the lamp swings around the old puppy pen. You see here, mine's actually hanging from two trap wires either side and it takes all the swing out of the lamp. It's fixed to the wall either side as you can see. And even if the bitch can touch it, she can't move it. Also, always make sure your lead, your wiring, is up where the, she, she can't chew on it or bite it at any stage. And if you look closely, you can just see I've, I've drilled the actual lampshade cover and bolted it through and bolted it to these trap wires and that lamp's going nowhere. Last thing you want is 250 watt bulb dropping on your pups or your bitch. I mean, it'll absolutely scold them to death. So quick little tip on heat lamps there never use the chain that come with it totally discard it in my opinion the crap all right for chickens and stuff but a dog can knock that lamp and soon knock it off that chain so uh, I hope you enjoyed this really short video I'm sorry there's no proper puppy diaries but I just with this new Google Plus thing that YouTube changed so I just I'm really struggling to upload videos so I do apologize and I hope this has given you a little insight into your 